Hello, this is Team Thunder, and this is our show, Hockey Meets Management. The contributing members to the team are Amber, Betha, Caleb, Courtney, Joel, and Philip. By watching our show, we hope that the audience will be able to learn of the difficulties that managers come face to face with on a daily basis. Also, we hope that the audience will be able to see that management is not something strictly limited to corporate environments, but we can be used everywhere, such as on an ice hockey team. We will also debunk some of the management myths and show the importance of attitude when it comes to the management and the employees and the effects attitude has on others. Our show is a story about a hockey team called the Devils. The show will follow this team on its way to the Stanley Cup. However, they have a long way to go as after their previous loss during the Stanley Cup Finals. The team lost all sense of unity and became demoralized. It is now up to the new team captain, Kevin, to get everyone back on track and on their way to winning the Stanley Cups. Our show is targeted towards both adults and young adults, with ages ranging from 16 to 35. The stars of our show are Captain Kevin, who his team deeply relies on to help them come together before each game and strengthen their skills every practice. Having the most important duty as captain, Kevin has the most experience out of all his teammates, which is why it is safe to say he is certainly a go-getter. Silly Steve, whose name comes from his goofy personality. Steve livens up the team with his jokes and helps calm the teammates after a tiring practice. His raw talent is starting to shine through as he is trying the best he can, but sometimes his laid-back self slows him down from his full potential. Shy Sean, who is the fastest on the team, his natural talent leaves other teams in awe, wishing they had someone as outstanding as him. He comes from Ukraine, but was welcomed with open arms as all the teammates share one thing in common, a love for the rough game of hockey. Difficult Dave, who is 260 pounds, intimidating beast. He is a great defense player with his mean look and makes any opponent frightened. He is a competitive individual that shows no emotion on ice except for determination to win. And last but not least, our gregarious goalie, John, a very positive and compassionate individual. His love for hockey started as a child, and he learned everything from his father. His cheery attitude helps him bring the team together, which is why he was assigned as a co-captain with Kevin to lead them to success. We demonstrate the concepts learned throughout our management course in episode one by showing how much of an effect change can have on our group, its manager, and how powerful motivation can be in getting the group moving again. At the start of the episode, we see the new team captain, Captain Kevin, and the rest of his team holding strong against the Wildcats. However, things begin to go downhill fast for the Devils. When gregarious goalie George is taken out of the game due to an injury, causing the team to rely on a replacement goalie. Not soon after, the Wildcats have caught up with the Devils in points, leaving the team demoralized. Captain Kevin must deal with the changing playing field and pull his team out of their beaten down state. He must adapt the team to the new playing field if he wants the team to win. As it's stated in the text, change is the most perseverant, persuasive, and powerful challenge with which all managers have to deal with. Captain Kevin realizes that if he stands idle in dealing with this change on the rink, his team won't have a shot at winning the Stanley Cup. Will Kevin be able to turn this ununified and demoralized team into ice hockey champions? Watch episode one to find out.
Different concepts of managerial roles and the management of groups are depicted in ep the second episode. It all starts when the team is getting ready to play against Captain Kevin's former team. Captain Kevin makes his appearance at the rink early to start practice, and when the rest of the team arrives, Kevin begins to demonstrate the interpersonal role of being a leader. He uses his leadership position as captain to direct the team through their strenuous practice routine. He works the team harder than he has for the past opponents because of his need to show off for the team he left behind. The rest of his teammates do not share the same drive. Kevin has to excel, and when Kevin witnesses Silly Steve goofing off, he loses his cool. Captain Kevin is going to have to pull himself together, become a leader again, and find a way to resolve the conflict that is happening within the team. And he has to figure it all out before the big game tonight. Stay tuned and witness if he will be able to do it. Throughout our time in Principles of Management, Team Thunder came to some general conclusions on management. One, the skills that we learned in this class are not limited to the class. Through analysis of our lives, we can see how much management affects us in our various hobbies and jobs. Two, without understanding and using the concepts that we are discussing within our class, group work became a pain. Without management, the group would be all over the place rather than all being focused on a single-ended goal. Our recommendation for future principals of management students is this. First, have a desire to work with others in a group environment as every week you will have a group assignment. Second, manage your time well. And third, be ready to discover new ways of thinking through communicating with your group members. The following are the reflections of Group 11, Team Thunder.
At this time, we would like to say thank you to our wonderful professor and TA. Your critiquing and wonderful feedback on our episodes and throughout the class was a wonderful improvement for us and for our future career students. Thank you very much.